Okay, everyone, we're going to be talking about soil reinforcement basics with our sand cylinder demo. I think this demonstration does a great job visually to show you how important it is for you to take your time to have the proper soil hydration during construction, that soil stability and compaction takes time and it's important, and also the benefits of proper geogrid placement. So let's get after it. This is our sand cylinder demonstration that we're going to do. We're taking some liberties here with this demonstration. What we want to visually show is that this is our Versalock, our little toy blocks here of Versalock. This is our retaining wall. The cylinder that we have in place here, this is going to be the earth that's going to go in back of it. For this demonstration, we have completely dry sand. We purposely put dry sand out there with no moisture. And what we're going to do in this one is we're going to say it's a Friday, afternoon right you maybe the crew is tired and they just want to get out of the job site so instead of properly backfilling the retaining wall they're going to take and they're going to fill no compaction dry soil going in and they're going to get off of the job site because they're ready for the weekend so as I remove this cylinder, we'll let the dust settle a little bit here. So as I remove this cylinder, what it's going to do with completely dry soil, you'll hopefully see a fee angle spread out or the natural angle at which the soil is. And here we go. So that's what happens to our retaining wall block if there's no compaction, dry sand, and you can see this natural fee angle that the soil had, right? There was a lot of weight on our retaining wall block right off the bat. Okay, so for this demonstration, there's two things that we're doing different. Instead of dry sand, we've got some moisture that we've added to the sand. A good test for you when you're seeing how well your soil has moisture in it is if you can clump it up and it holds some form you know that's a good soil consistency for moisture now what we're going to do here too is we're going to dump the sand in and instead of just dumping in and not compacting we're going to compact in lifts so we're doing some things right here we've added moisture to the soil and we're compacting in lifts, and it's gonna take a little longer, right? It's not as easy as just dumping in that dry sand. A couple scoopfuls of soil. And compact. It's also good to have the proper compaction equipment for this, we're using a potato masher and duct tape. So we keep building up one more. We'll go one more and see how this performs. One more compaction lift. So we can see for the most part, it didn't topple our wall over. The sand held its form. So we did better than we did last time. Now we're gonna take our truck, pull a Versalock block and see if it can support it. So it supported that much weight. So that's a good thing. Now maybe we take and put a larger Versalock block on top of it. And right away you can see it didn't hold that shape. It collapsed on us once we added too much weight to the system. Okay, so now for our third test. Again, we've got the proper moisture in the sand, right? It's having some form to it. And we're gonna also introduce our geogrid, or in this case, it's some filter fabric for the demonstration. We're gonna be placing this in levels. 
So we're going to try to keep it consistent as we go up. And so we're going to introduce some soil, compact. And again, this process is going to take even longer, right? Because now we've got GeoGrid that we're putting in lifts. Can you see the grid that I'm putting in, in camera here? So we'll do a couple dumps of soil, even compaction as you go up, the proper amount of compaction. and more grid. Doesn't take that much longer doing it this way than our last demonstration. But it's another step. Introduce more grid. Introduce more soil. This is also something I encourage landscape companies to do if they've got new hires. Super simple, takes about 30 minutes, but drives home the point. And it's a little more realistic right in front of their eyes. But hopefully a video does a good enough job for you guys today. So here we go, last lift. We'll finish it with a little soil and see how it does this time. This, by the way, if a viewer wants to know, is actually our third time. We have not done any tricks here. So here we go. We've reached where we want to go. Give it a magic tap. Pull it out. And as expected, it has kept the form. There's not weight toppling over the block. If we bring in our Versalock truck, is it gonna hold, right? Definitely. Holds our Versalock truck full of Versalock, no problem, just like last time. But that's not enough, obviously. We wanna show you guys how important and how well GeoGrid performs. Let's take and go for home here. Let's do a half unit. Can you see the half unit on the top of the screen? How about Aaron, hand me another half unit there. We're gonna try to do two. This is 80 pounds of product. I don't know if you can see it or not, but we're just, stay, we're just trying to keep it from falling over the blocks themselves it's just getting a little tippy, but other than that, we've definitely outperformed. And I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna remove the blocks now. So hopefully you can see there's little fissures that you can maybe start to see as the block, as we start to introduce some weight to it. And what you can maybe see, you know, in between the layers of grid, that's where you can start to see little failure planes with our demonstration. But again, definitely outperformed our other two scenarios.